Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are fine. Finally it arrived. Perfect crawler for indoors in those days when so many of us are kind of locked indoors. Finally my mini C or mini set or mini Z 4x4 Suzuki arrived. Curious to see what's inside. Nice display box as we are used from mini C's. I won't go in detail with the description. Just a quick look because some of you guys seem to like this front. And the back side with a lot of detailed description. Yeah, and that's everything that's inside. One big box with the transmitter in the back. A tiny bag with gears and some brackets. And finally the beautiful, beautiful chimney. The chimney is quite securely mounted to his display. Screwdrivers are needed to unlock it. Four screws for the bottom plate and two more screws inside here. And finally it's free. And here it is. Isn't it pretty? I really like it. Super detailed scale grill. Super detailed rims, but those rims do come with Phillips head screws. Backside. Mirrors are made out of rubber so they won't break off as they often did in the mini C mini set overlands the tiny antenna is made of rubber too so let's take the body off this should be quite easy by simply pressing those yeah it is easy wow Let's take a closer look at the pure body inside. It's hard plastic, but it's rather thin hard plastic. Front lights seem to be with 3mm LED dummies, so one could easily put lights inside, but unfortunately with the turning lights it seems to be a little bit more difficult to light this sucker up and third brake light here also not that easy and all the other lights are in the bumpers so here front bumpers seem to be two LED 3mm dummies so it should be possible to light those up and really detailed rear lights and inside there seem to be also 3mm LED dummies 
Kyosho announced the lighting set and that's how it looks inside I don't know if I should start to disassemble it or if I should first make a first run in stock condition quite springy shocks as we know and that's the difference to other mini C's Phillips head screws on the wheels so it will probably yeah, let's check it out later I guess best will be first to put some batteries inside and make a test run on the bench here and of course check the transmitter so that's the transmitter coming with those new mini C's it's named Synchro KT 53-1P looks quite a little bit different to the mini C transmitters of the elder models I do have those are those ones they are called Perfex KT18 well the old one looks better <laughs> but I hope the new one is better um, battery compartment it takes four triple A batteries and not double A as stated in some descriptions of shops however not that important this unfortunately is not a push button that's only a dummy here too steering wheel foam yeah. looks okay it does not feel that good what do we have here we have steering trim and throt throttle trim here we have steering dual rate and this channel is labeled channel 4 unfortunately it's a knob for turning so channel 4 this is a 4 channel transmitter seems to be there's place for two plugs here one probably as always is for the gyro watts doesn't not make a lot of sense this is a three pin they are I guess 1.5 millimeter plugs 1.0 not 1.25 mm. no those are the usual plugs one point do I have some from as used in many flyberless systems of Halis JSTG what's yes there's a four pin plug and a three pin plug the three no 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 those are two four pin plugs and only this one is 1.5 millimeter this is a tiny four pin plug that's probably for the Chido and this seems to have 1.0 or 1.25 let's check so that's a 1.25 millimeter so those are JST GH plugs with uh, 1.25 millimeter and on the other side this is 1.5 millimeter and those are JSD ZH I do have 
two, three, pin, six pin, I know. I do have them for crimping, but I guess I don't have a four pin. However, let's put some batteries inside. Channel four. Trim, trim. I'm searching for a channel three. Probably that's that's the on-off button. Yeah, that yeah, that transmitter does not look very very good. Maybe my fly sky noble will work. It has some frequency for mini C. We will test this later. So four batteries inside. Everything okay. And seems to work. And the car needs some batteries too. Tiny 130 motor, a lot of options for modding. So that's the room for the four triple A's. That would be 2 S LiPo, 4, 3, 4, 500 milliamps. Oh. Time for a further video. I will do this in a further video. How it does the battery? Okay, very simple. And for batteries, so using nickel metal hydrides, as always in my mini C's. I don't really complain about those. Kind of, of course, I'm using. Lipos in nearly all my RC models, but in the Mini C's, they are okay. This was not that good. First, the other one on the other side. It's safe, it's extremely easy to. It's extremely easy to charge. You can give them. So, this should. Work that way, okay. You can give them to the children without having to be afraid they will burn up your house. So that's it, okay. And that's it. So ready to go. Didn't took it. This stuff, plastic, plastic, metal, metal. Where is the on off switch? Oh, here. But first, let's switch on the transmitter. It should already be bound by factory. And that's it. It works. What a surprise. Okay. Quite good steering angle. Nice, nice. Tires are more or less creepy, mm. but unfortunately, they seem to be glued, of course, to the rims. And those rims, I have to remove those rims later on. They look strange with this Phillips head screw. So my first test okay it does not work steering does work but motor does not work So let's switch it off again.
Okay, that's quite a bummer. Motor does not work. I opened and removed the motor now. And I also opened the receiver box, what's quite easy, only th secured by one screw. And I felt a bad, bad smell. And now I check the motor. And starting, you can see it here, starting with one volt. This motor seems to be dead on arrival. That's really a pity. But if it's only the motor, it's not that bad, but I fear that the ESC in the 3-in-1 is burned too. So what to do? If I switch it on it still works. Come on. That's the on-off switch. Please don't make a shortcut. And you see servo still works but what would be interesting is their power to the motor so I will test this now let's switch it off and let's plug a voltmeter to the motor and switch it on again dangerous. Servo still works and mm, unfortunately no. What a pity. Dead on arrival. My mini C. So I checked the board. But with loop of course with magnifier but I can't see any burnt MOSFET however the smell was typical for burnt MOSFETs what a bummer I will have to contact the customer service of the shop but now I do already have disassembled my mini C well, still hope I could repair it, but it's a brand new 240-250 euro car. <laughs> oh man, I have a ton of cheapest WPL cars that work. <laughs> I will assemble it again and uh, let's make some comparisons to other mini C's I have, size comparisons and then I will see what I will do. First let's check those wheels with the Phillips head screw. How are they mounted? Oh man, what's that? That's a totally new mounting system. That's a kind of cross of three That's not very nice because it will be very hard to use different rims. Let's see. Come on. Tires are glued. Body mounting system is awesome. The way to mount the body cannot be easier. Check this out. Press, 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 and it's mounted. And now let's compare it to some other mini C's and other tiny cars. I have a ton. 
So no test run, unfortunately. I'm sorry and I'm sad, but yeah, dead on arrival can happen, should not happen. It's such an expensive car. However, we all love those beautiful mini C, mini Z bodies, and the Suzuki is said to be scale 1 to 18th. Uh, we compared it, I guess it's 1 to 19th. And uh, let's compare it to, I do have a ton of 1 to 24th to 1 to 28th, and of course, Orlando's cars. And let's compare the size because those sizes are not always exact. And let's first compare it to one of those old fantastic mini C overlands that's a Pachero. And you see it's significantly smaller than the Mini C 4x4. So Pachero won't fit, but there is also a Humvee, an Overland Humvee. I do only have the body that's on a Mini C Comic Racer, and this Humvee could probably fit to the Mini C 4x4. Therefore, I should probably take off the body again and check if this could work my fantastic mounting system and check it out okay you would probably need lower shock mounts and of course you would have to remove the bumpers but this old Humvee body, Mini C Humvee body, could work with the Mini C 4x4. Since that's a comic racer, since the Humvee was in a comic racer chassis, the Mini C buggy should also have about the same wheelbase, and it does. Is it exactly the same wheelbase? Tiny, any little bit shorter in the Mini C buggy than in the Mini C 4x4. And finally, the monster. The monster is a monster. The Mini C monster is a monster. And the wheelbase of the monster is quite a little bit shorter than the wheelbase of the Mini C 4x4 however would the body fit some way oops ah, my monster has lights no it's too short so no monster for maybe for the Toyota body it's a little bit shorter but no monster for the Suzuki so no monster for the Suzuki and finally my very favorite mini C body the Baja Buck it's also a monster body but I have I use them for small crawlers would the Baja Buck body fit to the 4x4 unfortunately not this is such a beautiful body for the couple if you want it if you don't know it that's the number it's not that easy to get anymore mmb06 yosho finest radio control models yes they are but i got one dead on arrival and the Baja Park is officially licensed by Volkswagen VW. How cool. So, the Humvee body would maybe work. And then there are quite a lot of those 1 to 24 crawlers. And let's compare it to those. That's my Rockstar, Basher Rockstar, Hobby King. And 
it's significantly larger so no mini C body for a Rockster chassis but there are more there are those really Rockstar Graupner Punisher XXS Red Cat Sumo that's one of those that's still stuck in quite a time I try to mod it and this could probably work and I do have a further one that's already modded so that's a Graupner Punisher wheelbase nearly exactly the same so this will not only take a Baja Buck body but should also this cool stuff isn't it Mini C Suzuki 1 to 18th on a 1 to 24th crawler a wheelbase seems to work exactly of course different tires but this would be a nice option and then there are those super cheap WL toys crawlers and that's one of those did I already mod it? I partly I modded it it's more or less the same this one doesn't have four wheel steering this one only has front steering and I also I do have a further Baja Buck body to fit it on this but it's the same wheelbase as the Punisher, Graupner Punisher Red Cat, so check it out, it's exactly the same wheelbase. Those WL toys 40, 26, whatever, they are only about 50 bucks, 40 bucks. And this would be, of course, you fits quite nicely fits nearly perfectly so a further option so if you once get the mini C bodies they are normally 30 40 50 bucks so quite expensive and want to make a real rock crawler out of it you could take the WL toys crawler and the really rocker the Graupner Punisher XXS and the Red Cat Sumo they are more or less the same to a hypo mod and then there is a further one a metal one what's only the Basher Rockstar from Hobby King seems to be a little bit larger so maybe I should run my mini C body on a WL toys eh, needs a little bit smaller tires <laughs> and finally there are those very nice 1 to 24th scale crawlers very popular actually they are those from Hobby Plus this is mine also sold as Euro AV from Banggood and I bought mine as Amevi AMX 24 and there are very similar ones from RGT and also from Horizon ECX Temper and those are no rock crawlers but real small scale crawlers and they are oh, I lost my antenna from my mini C and their wheelbase seems to be even if they are 1 to 24th nearly exactly the same absolutely exactly the same as the wheelbase of the Mini C chimney 4x4 the Toyota has a little bit of shorter wheelbase so probably the bodies would fit too I'm in the state of modifying as always so this Defender D90 body fits perfectly on the Mini C 4x4 check it out it's not finished it has a roll cage and whatever and the Mini C body 
should then also fit perfectly to the Amevi AMX24 chassis and it does. Check this out. So all those Amevi Hovi Plus RGT ECX Euro AV from Banggood should take a Mini C Suzuki body perfectly and those they do come with much better tires anyway so check those tires they are much better than the Mini C tires they are real beadlocks they are plastic but real beadlocks you can put foam insides and weights so if the Mini C bodies will be available once this would be a nice and rather cheap rather cheap option for using it on a different chassis so guys unfortunately no happy ending in this video I still love the Mini C 4x4 but However, now I'm a little bit sad. I'm not angry. It can always happen. I do have... The motor does not work, so the motor is dead on arrival. Don't know what the problem with this motor is. Looks fine. Doesn't work. I do have... Quite a couple of 130 motors. So, fast ones from Atomic. But they are not that good, but for example this Pesha Rockstar Torque 130 motor should be fine for the Mini C2 so it wouldn't be a problem to change the motor, but a non-working board is a problem so that's it for this video I won't bash the Mini C, I still love it everyone loves Mini C's but uh, dead on arrival, of course, is not very funny. I'll keep you informed what will happen with my Mini C, if I can repair it, if it will be replaced. I don't want to wait for weeks or months again. Guys, stay safe at home in those times. I'll see you in the next video. I'll be back.